All right, I'm going to use algebra to show that 2 equals 1. Now, we know that's not really true, so see if you can find my mistake. All right, we're going to start off with just saying that a is equal to b. So let's say we have two variables, a and b, and that they're equal to each other. The first thing I'm going to do is multiply both sides by a. So for instance, I'm going to do a on the left side, and I'm going to multiply by a on the right side, and that's going to give me a squared equals a b. And now I'm going to add a squared to both sides. So I have a squared, let's say I'm going to add a squared to both sides. So I'm going to add a squared to both sides. And I'll just combine like terms over here on the left hand side. a squared plus a squared equals 2a squared. So I have 2a squared equals ab plus a squared. Next step, I'm going to subtract 2ab from both sides. So I have 2a squared minus 2ab on the left, and on the right hand side I have ab plus a squared, and I'm also going to subtract 2ab on the right hand side, and then I'm just going to simplify the right hand side by combining like terms over here. So we have 2a squared minus 2ab on the left, on the right hand side I have an a squared, and then I have 1ab minus 2ab, that's just going to be minus ab. Now I'm going to factor both sides in a certain way. So on the left hand side I'm going to take out the uh, common factor of 2, so that gives you 2 times a squared minus ab, and the right side I'm going to just write that as 1 times a squared minus ab. So I did not take out the greatest common factor. But notice I have a factor of a squared minus ab on both sides of the equation. So I'm just going to divide both sides by that factor. So if I divide both sides by a squared minus ab, then I could cancel this, so I can cancel this, and over here I can cancel this, and so I have, oh, I have 2 equals 1. So what do you think about that? See if you can find my mistake. I encourage you to try to figure that out on your own, but if not, I'm going to continue and show you um, the mistake. So if you don't want to know, turn off the video now. Okay, over on the left is the quote proof that 2 equals 1, and let's see what went wrong. Well, if we look at the very beginning, we have that a equals b, right? That means that a minus b is equal to 0. If we multiply both sides by a, you would have a times a minus b equals a times 0, which is the same thing as a squared minus ab is equal to 0. So here comes the problem. Look right here. I divided by a squared minus ab. <laughs> well, that means I divided by 0, and that is the problem. That's an illegal thing to do. All right, so the problem is right here. When I divide it by 0, you're going to get a false statement. So remember, you can never divide by 0. That is undefined. So on the very last step here, when I divide it by 0, I get a false statement. So therefore, 2 does not really equal 1.